This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2006 Ford F-250 Super Duty Crew Cab Short Bed. It's a Larry, which is leather. It's an FX4, which is off-road suspension. It's uh, ranch of suspension installed at the Ford factory. Uh, it's a four-wheel drive, obviously, uh, and it's a 6.0 turbo diesel. Uh, this truck has 152,600 miles. It was a theft, repurchase, per, theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in Kansas City, Missouri. Um, and it is on a salvage title due to theft, not collision. Uh, we do have four pictures of it before it left Kansas City. And you'll see, I'm going to tell you right where to look. <laughs> it's pretty obvious the picture. Right here, it bumped into something right on the top of the grill in here. So we did buy a new hood for it. We did buy a new grill for it. Um, and I think we bought a header panel, which is what all this stuff goes in because there was a crack in it. Uh, but other than that, it's the same truck that we bought. Um, then we got it here. By the way, the salvage titles are issued uh, when they're not wrecked horribly uh, because the lawyers for the insurance companies don't want to get sued by whoever we sell it to. So if we sell it to somebody and you get killed, obviously Wheel Connects doesn't have millions, but you know Progressive, Geico, all those guys do. So if they sell it on a salvage title, it implies no warranty to us, which means no warranty to you, they're out. That's why they do it. There's a little three minute animated video in our uh, in our ads that tells you a little bit more that's kind of fun to watch. Kids will like it, it's kind of funny. Um, watch that, it gives you a little more information. Anyway, we bring them here, we do an inspection. This is what the inspection looks like, and I got my little cheat sheets over here. Uh, let's see, got a Rotella oil and filter. Uh, so got an oil change with the good oil. Uh, battery uh, is new, one battery I guess is new. Uh, rear pads and rotors, the grill, hood, and, hood was painted, a new hood and paint. Louver tailgate. Right tail light was replaced, header panel, both tie rods, power steering line, drag link, and ignition. Also, the truck does have catalytic converters, but as you diesel people know, the <laughs> you'll know you'll know why the EGR uh, has been deleted. Okay, uh, it's a video, and I can't go into the whole thing, but uh, it does have the catalytic converters um, and. If you need to know more, ask people about 6 O's, call your diesel people, call, call a diesel shop that knows something, they'll understand what I'm talking about, okay? But uh, it's very technical and whatever, and we see it a lot. Like, I think I've seen it on two or three of the last 10 vehicles I've done, and it's not a bad thing, all right? But uh, we like to make sure that everyone knows exactly what they're buying. Here, here, if you look on the pictures that I took, uh, about eh, probably 60 or 70 HD pictures, there'll be a little magnifying glass that'll allow you to zoom in on things. Uh, I'm going to point at stuff that I see walking around. If you're interested uh, in seeing it up close, click on that spot that I touch, and you'll be able to, it's like having your eye two inches away from the truck. Okay? Doesn't mean I won't miss something, so stare at the whole thing every time. But, uh, right there. By the way, that's a nice burn from an exhaust today. That felt good. These are the tires that came on it. So someone liked this thing enough to spend a lot of money on uh, BFG All Terrains right before it got stolen, which generally means it's a nice truck. Uh, when they, <laughs> when you spend that kind of money on BFG, so that's about it's about twelve hundred dollars. Well, that's what we pay. It's probably fourteen hundred dollars in tires, and they look like they're about seventy or eighty percent tread. There. I mean, this is very minor stuff, but I try to point out everything so that there's no surprises. Surprises suck. <laughs> uh, we don't get yelled at because we try to take the surprises out of things and so that the right person gets the right vehicle. We don't have the pressure that a brick and mortar dealership has um, to uh, sell a vehicle to you. Uh, normal brick and mortar places uh, have to. Uh, sell to pretty much whoever gets in the car they may have one person get in this truck on their dealership in a month we have 500 people a day see every vehicle in our, in our inventory um so we don't have to do that okay so we can uh tell you exactly what's going on and the right person will find the right car and everyone will be happy um 152,639 miles all right so hiding stuff is no bueno we don't do that um, so, let's show you what's going on in here. 
First of all, we're going to look for Ford stamps. There's a Ford stamp there. There's a Ford stamp there. Let's look for a blow by. That is excellent. Very little blow by. There's a Ford stamp there. There's a Ford stamp there. And it is a new battery on each side. So we, have to, we did put two new batteries in it. All right. Pass your window. Locks. I'm going to show you the Kelly Blue Book on it. People have been asking us to do this. Kind of got the air conditioning blowing here. Let me turn that down real quick. All right. There's the Kelly Blue Book with the miles, Lariat. Suggested price would be a, a retail price would be $19,019. There's the equipment that goes into that. Right there. We'll just freeze the picture and stare at that for a second. Put that in the glove box. There's a manual, etc. in there. You got heated seats on and off. Forward. Back, up, down, tilt up, tilt down, tilt up, tilt down. The seats look great. That seat is perfect. I love that seat. Some of these things don't wear so good. These seats are wearing really well. I know one thing. We're not going to warranty any kind of DVD, especially aftermarket stuff. This screen works, that screen doesn't. Um, but if the whole thing doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um, you know, we, we get into the aftermarket DVD business. And that one may not work just because of wiring. My guy's going to make an attempt to make that work later. But uh, it was working, now it's not. And those screens look pretty old. Uh, the screens are actually fairly cheap. So it's really not that big a deal, I think, but uh, we just throw all that stuff under the bus because we're selling trucks, not DVD players, all right? But see this thing, it just, it, 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 it shows power when it's powered up, but uh, yeah, see, you can see the screen come on. And there it is. But it's not showing the movie, so. I don't even want to get into that type of deal, so I'm not even going to talk. I'm just going to tell you it doesn't work, and boy, would that be cool if it did when you got there. Uh, and that's that's about it. I do know that I've seen the movie play on that passenger rear side before. Down, up, other side, out, in, up, down. Let's see what else we got here. Door locks. There's that. You can see. See back. See forward. See up. See down. Tilt up. Tilt down. See up. Up. And down. There you go. I can see that we did do a repair on the outside of this bolster, which is real common. From about here to about, looks like about here. Our mobile repair guy did that. We have seat power, power pedals down and up. To a wheel, that works fine. All right, let's see. Let's do a little. Do that. got the tow haul button there that's on that's off let's see we got a radio here Let's get a real job all right okay this report is brought to you by steering the controls down up station change all right that's all there air conditioning it is blowing 
very cold. It's about 80 degrees in Tucson right now, so not to make anyone feel bad, but we're gonna go here to the steering controls here. Fan down and up, temperature down, temperature up. That's about right. Let me turn the fan down. Alright. Here is the uh this is the uh player I was talking about. This is a DVD player in the in the uh center console. Okay. Turn that off. Alright, let's see. Seat belt on. Adjust the seat a little bit. Bopping it around. Alright. Let's see. First thing we want to do is we want to go into neutral. We're gonna to go to four low. Now we're in four low. Drive. That's definitely four low. That's got a five mile an hour top speed there. Reverse in four in four low. Yep. All right. Neutral. Go to four high. Now we're in four high. Drive. And reverse. Boom. There we go. Neutral, two-wheel drive, let's go for a ride. This thing's on a salvage title. If you come to Tucson and drive it home, which you're welcome to do, um, obviously, uh, you are going to have to have uh, plates and insurance. You can't get them on a salvage title. So before you get here, or before it ships, if you want to do us, do us to do it for you before it ships, um, we have to take it to uh, level three inspection. That's the police. Uh, they do a level three inspection. We take that inspection and the salvage title we have and get what's called a restored salvage title. Then, once we have the restored salvage title, we can issue you temporary plates to drive home with, um, and you can get insurance. So that's obviously mandatory. That's $200 if we do it for you before you get here, or before it ships out. So a minimum of four hours of our time, up to 10 hours of our time, which is why the number. $50 of that uh, $200 goes to the state, and the other $150 goes to covering our guy sitting on the curb. They used to let us leave the vehicle there and come back, and then we only charged uh, 50 bucks. But they stop doing that. They make you sit with the car, and we have guys sitting there all day. <laughs> People who make more money than that, sitting there all day staring at the truck while they do real police work. So that's why it covers that. Um, it's also a hassle to do in your towns in some places. In Texas, I hear it's very easy. Anyway, that's that. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're obligated to pay is the agreed upon price, uh, unless you want to add $200 and have us restore the title before it leaves. Once we receive your wire, if you're shipping, we'll fill out the title with your name or company's name and address, and we'll scan it into your online file along with, uh, we even scan in the envelope we mail it in, and then we mail it. Once the truck ships to you, once you have it shipped to you, uh, you'll take the title of the truck in and get your plates, and you'll deal with whatever fees you deal with there, okay? Deposit, deposit's $500. Once we receive your deposit, put your name and a banner over the truck at wheelkinetics.com and you'll know it's yours. Until then, it is for sale. Okay, please get your deposit in. Uh, this is a really straight truck. Uh, we replaced the hood. The before and after is obvious why. And it's obvious that it wasn't a serious thing, but it's there and that's what happened. Warranty speech, 2,641 miles and it's 10 years old. It's way out of warranty uh, by Ford standards. Uh, it left their warranty standards many miles and many years ago. Uh, if they could have given it a 20-year, 200,000-mile warranty, they would have. Why didn't they? Because they didn't know what would happen. They didn't know if it would explode in a ball of fire at some point or not. And that's why they bailed. If they knew, they would have given it a little longer warranty and sold it for twice as much. Okay? What I'm saying is, if they don't know what's going to happen, we don't know more than the people who, uh, who uh, built this vehicle and designed it. Okay? That being said, we are absolutely experts on 6.0s. And today, it's a hell of a truck. It doesn't mean the day you get it, it's not gonna need something like a window motor or an injector or who knows, a radio. Who knows what's gonna happen? It's a used vehicle. Every one of our vehicles is, is an unknown. We know what we have today, we don't know what we have tomorrow. If I knew what was gonna happen to every vehicle tomorrow, I'd be a billionaire. I'd be running for president, okay, <laughs> because then I would have a talent that nobody else has in the car business, okay? So, there's risk involved. You're saving a bunch of money. Some of that money might have to go towards a repair tomorrow or four years from now, okay? Anyway, very nice truck. Thank you for your time. Have a great weekend.